Hi friends, we are starting a face to face offline batch in Bangalore with SS Academy. That is for CA final financial reporting paper number one. I yeah, will be taking exactly two months from 1st November to 31st December. We will complete it. It is starting from 1st November 2022. Yes, and in Jayanagara branch of SS Academy, we have morning batch and evening batch will be at Seshadripuram SS Academy. Right. And if the student is missing because of any reasons, right, they are going to get a backup class. All right, we'll ensure that their things, I mean, they will study and complete. And from the face to face batch, you know the benefits out of it. We'll be completing the syllabus in time. You don't need to postpone and you don't need to compromise for your goals. See you in the class. Please share this information with your friends. That will help me and as well. Thank you. Next, for my books, that is an index made easy, our financial reporting made easy, and fast track summary book. Yes, you can uh, order in ravikanthmiriala.com or you can contact the given number for the books. Right. For your for your doubts, clarification, please join the Telegram group, Indias Discussion Group, RKM. These charts are from my quick revision fast track charts book on financial reporting this book is available in the market and even in my website yeah let's look at india's 23 which is borrowing costs a borrowing costs costs which are directly attributable to a borrowing if i had not borrowed i would have not incurred yeah th those costs are supposed to be borrowing costs how to account for whether it should be capitalized or should be charged to PNL is dealt by the standard yeah when this i mean this borrowing cost include the effective rate of interest that is which which you have learned it under in days 109 and interest is with respect to leases which are as per in days 116 and in case of finance lease in case of uh, i mean whether you are lessee or lessor as per that it will come in and the next next point which is important foreign exchange difference arising from the arising from foreign currency borrowing to the extent it is regarded as borrowing cost means out of foreign exchange loss what some extent some extent compared to if i had taken it in indian borrowing yeah what extent will be treated as borrowing cost right i mean we'll discuss about it towards the end yeah, this borrowing cost must be incurred if it is imputed or a deemed cost. No, it is not going to be considered by the standard. And it is not applicable obviously to the quality. If it is not a qualifying asset, then it is not applicable. Yeah, what about this borrowing cost? This borrowing cost which are directly attributable to acquisition, construction or production of a qualifying asset, then yes, you should capitalize it. If it is, If the asset is not a qualifying asset, then you should be charging it to profit and loss. As financing cost what is a qualifying asset qualifying asset is an asset which necessarily takes a substantial period of time to make it ready for its intended use or sale when they say use that can be a property plant and equipment that can be intangible asset that can be investment property right and if it is meant for it is intended sale that means an inventory that means an inventory if an inventory is a qualifying asset then interest is supposed to be capitalized yeah what is a substantial period of time generally there is no definition given in the standard generally 12 months or above will take it but if you can substantiate even nine months and above also generally which will take it in the practice yeah it, it, it depends obviously depends on the each circumstance and situations and professional judgment is involved in this decision right and see car acquisition cannot be a qualifying asset the FIG license which is acquired and which you are supposed to develop it which will take three years of time yes it is obviously a qualifying asset right a purchasing of a machine or equipment uh, generally no right a land acquisition also no it is not a qualifying asset yeah some important point which is asked in the previous examination also suppose parent has taken a loan and that loan has been given forwarded to the subsidiary for a qualifying asset yeah, see in the subs subsidiary will be accounting as per India 23, but we are looking at from the consolidated point, consolidated financial statements point of view. Yeah, now the question is, 
the subsidiary must have capitalized it i mean to the extent at what rate what rate of borrowing cost it is incurring but actually this loan has been taken from taken loan is taken from whom from the holding company so the holding company has taken for the holding company is it a general borrowing or is it a specific borrowing yeah see parent must have taken it at the rate of 10 percentage and it has given to subsidiary maybe at 5 percentage the subsidiary must have capitalized only 5 percentage but not at 10 percentage yes but in the consolidated financial statements the your capitalization is supposed to be at 10 percentage but not at 5 percentage in simple example okay but if the group that is the holding company group here basically group you are supposed to look at yeah if, if the group has taken it a general borrowing right then you are supposed to apply weighted average borrowing rate weighted average borrowing rate of the group all the loans all the loans not necessarily the holding company all the loans general borrowing rates only you are supposed to consider at that rate only it is supposed to be capitalized not at the rate holding or any group member has given to our company just remember you are trying to do it at the consolidated financial statements right next prepayment yeah, if you are pre if you are if you have paid any charges for prepayment of a debt no that is not treated as a borrowing cost yeah if it is is right any derivative instrument suppose you have taken interest rate swap okay something like that if there is any loss because of the interest rate swap how to account it yeah actually there is no guidance on this there are two views i mean one you one i mean if the company treats it as see i have taken interest rate swap which is not directly attributable to this loan or some other qualifying asset then they, they will be accounting that swap as obviously fatpl and the uh, swap gain or loss obviously will be transferred to profit and loss right or or if the management establish a relationship between this borrowing for the qualifying asset and with respect to this derivative then yes that loss also will be capitalized like a borrowing cost right and from which period to which period this borrowing cost are supposed to be capitalized yeah there is a starting point there is a suspension there is a cessation there is a stop point when do you start the capitalization there are three conditions to satisfy if you satisfy three conditions then yes start capitalization one costs on the qualifying asset are being incurred cost borrowing cost are being incurred and activities are in uh, activities are in progress that activities may be physical activities it can be physical activity it can be i um, mean administrative activity or technical activity but which are very much necessary for the qualifying asset to make it ready for its intended purpose when you satisfy all the three conditions from that day onwards the borrowing cost will be capitalized any borrowing cost incurred till that date will be charged to profit and loss yeah with respect to suspension suspension when do you suspend it when there is no active development i mean there is no movement because of the lockdown because of the i mean labor strike because of the lack of material because of the uh, i mean natural problems i mean whatever the reason if there is no active development then the borrowing cost should not be capitalized if not capitalized means it should be charged to profit and loss during that suspension period right under there are two circumstances under these two circumstances even though there is no active development in the qualifying asset still it will be capitalized one if there is a temporary delay delay but that is which is necessary which is necessary for the qualifying asset like because of the curing purpose we stopped activity then still you are supposed to continue or there are some background in, in background there are some technical or administrative activities which are which are very important which is going on which is going on because of which they have stopped it at that time also do not suspend the borrowing cost capitalization continue the capitalization last stop once right when do you cessate it or when do you stop it once the substantially all the necessary activities to make it ready for my intended purpose end of the day whether the qualifying asset is ready for its intended purpose substantially is it ready can i start using it yes if you say then stop it when you stop it from that day onwards the qualifying the borrowing cost incurred should be charged to profit and loss borrowing cost incurred should be charged to profit and loss okay if it is completed in parts yeah i mean uh, one building next to one building next to one building something like that one building if it is ready for its use then yes you should stop capitalization 
next next question is with respect to how much to capitalize it is depending upon the type of borrowing is it a specific borrowing or is it a general borrowing if it is a specific borrowing that is which is specifically borrowed for the purpose of the qualifying asset general what is the borrowing cost minus if there is any income on the temporary fixed deposits made out of the loan that reduce it the remaining amount is supposed to be capitalized if it is from the general borrowing then we have to calculate one capitalization rate that capitalization rate is nothing but weighted average borrowing rate how do you calculate this average borrow average borrowing cost incurred divided by adjusted outstanding borrowing what is adjusted outstanding borrowing loan amount into number of months i mean you have take borrowed it in the current year divided by 12 like that you will be able to do it yeah yes and you should capitalize the borrowing cost i mean you should not capitalize it i mean when you capitalize it the asset qualifying asset value should not be crossing the recoverable amount it should not cross recoverable amount then fine i mean you should i mean after capitalization if it is crossing recoverable amount under 36 and in days 36 under impairment loss obviously will be applying the impairment loss standard that's the reason right maximum limit that should not cross the capital that should not cross the recoverable amount yeah this is the last point of the standard that is foreign exchange loss on the foreign currency borrowing to the extent it is regarded as borrowing cost right situation number one see we have to assume that we have we have to assume that we have taken indian borrowing correct if you have taken indian borrowing and uh, what would have been my borrowing cost if i had taken the indian borrowing take it as a uh, what is that benchmark accordingly you should write see exactly your borrowing cost and foreign exchange loss has come to say 80000 right and indian borrowing cost indian borrowing cost if i had taken it's not taken it is 90000 rupees then right if it is 90000 rupees then entire 80000 will be capitalized suppose indian borrowing cost is 90000 but actually incurred borrowing cost is equal to 1 lakh including the foreign exchange loss I repeat once again Indian borrowing cost is equal to 1 lakh assuming okay and actual borrowing cost which we have incurred including the foreign exchange loss is equal to 1 lakh then out of 1 lakh to the extent of 90,000 supposed to be capitalized remaining 10,000 will be treated as a foreign exchange loss will be dealt by in days 21 done next first year we got foreign exchange I mean uh, foreign exchange loss that's why you capitalized with the, some 20,000 rupees you capitalized with the asset and next year you got a capital ex, capital ex, I mean um, foreign exchange again you got it then you are supposed to reverse it yeah but first year only you have got it foreign exchange gain first year only you got foreign exchange gain foreign exchange gain is not a foreign exchange I mean it's not a borrowing cost because cost is something which you lost it yet again you have not lost anything that's why there is nothing which can be capitalized right my dear that's it this is about the standard and if you like the video if it, if you feel that this will be helpful to your friends please share it and comment and like as usual thank you and wish you the very best